let's call up our next guest here, shall we? This this should be interesting. Wait for him to get his mic uh, turned on there. Oh, hello. There it is. Hey, hey no. not a great gamer. Oh, How are you doing, man? I wasn't sitting down. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> I've been sitting here in an uncomfortable silence for all of uh, five seconds, man, waiting on you. I do apologize. That's okay. You got a, you're getting a cold, man? Pardon? You getting a cold? No, no, I was just somewhere very cold. Ah, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm warming up again, and I'm like suffering a bit. I'm with you. I'll be all right. I'll be all right in two seconds. It's uh, hang on. I'll do a quick conversion for you Americans. Conversion? Yeah. In what temperature it is over at the moment? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, twenty-four point eight. Twenty-four point eight degrees Fahrenheit. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not freezing, freezing, no. but it's cold enough to when you're standing out there with nothing but slippers on your feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sorry, I wasn't expecting the early one to be so quick. That's why I was like, right, I'll go and tend to some stuff in the middle of the night in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to get chastised for uh, leaving you in the uh, green room, so. <laughs> I enjoy the green room. It gives me, It gives me time to think. It is a nice, quiet place, isn't it? It is very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing this evening, man? This or this, yeah, this more early morning for you. Same shit, different day. Uh, tell me yeah. about it. <laughs> Same shit, different day. I hope you're good though. Uh, I'm better. I am much better than I have been for a while. Um, I think I got most of it out last night, which is nice. Um. You know, I'm not, I'm not by any means over these, uh, these changes. Loved your video though, by the way, <laughs> somebody said that the, uh, the hatchet needed more rust on it or the ax needed more rust on it. That was brilliant. The proof, the good thing is, right. I could have maintained it better, but proof in the pudding, at least I used the ax. At least I use it. It's used, isn't it? It yes. doesn't just mean it's sitting there like a display thing. That right. thing has been, I have chopped many a timber with that. <laughs> And and maybe a sausage or two, sausage or two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do want to I, say hello to uh, Elaine Valu the Farm. How you doing, uh, Elaine? Good to see you. Hello. And Pixel Pia is back with us. How you doing, Pixel Pia? Always a pleasure to have you here. Hello. There. <laughs> oh my, the gamer is on. <laughs> the granulated gamer. Look at the screen. <laughs> yes, you are pixelated to a certain extent. Granulated. Does I it like does word. it hurt? No. <laughs> oh, I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. So, um, gamer. There we go. Yes. Uh, we're, we're just going to fight through the pain, man. You and me both. Yep. Ask uh, me the question. Yes. Uh, what What? What album changed your life, man? Could be a song if you want to go down that road, because I did. I did open it up to that. There's many. Then choose the first one. The first one as a very, very, very young child. Oh my God, I was brought up. My father was a biker. We always had motorbikes out the front of our house. Mm -hmm. I was brought up on, when I was a child, uh, ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Iron Maiden, Wasp, Motorhead, uh, like blasting out, like, I remember driving at three, four years old with a uh, wasp blasting out my father in his Ford Capri. Um, it was Wild Child. I don't know if you know that song. I'm a wild child. Come and get me. I want to. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. I remember that one. And that was some heavy stuff. But the one that probably is most prominent, which is a bit cheesy, I suppose, would be Kisses Crazy Nights. Because that come out when I was actually born. I remember that being played a lot when I was a child. Really? Uh, I remember my mother watching the vid music videos of me as a kid. And when she died, that album actually helped me get over her death quite a lot. Oh, wow. Because it brought back a lot of good memories. There's a reason to live on that album. And I can't listen to that song without crying. Mm. And my husband being 
even now I'm actually getting emotional, but it reminds me of being a kid in the living room with my mother when my dad was at work and us two were singing along to that video, you know? Yeah, yeah. When I was a wee, when I was tiny, Christ, uh, I remember listening to that album when I was like three. No and kidding. Was, yeah. I remember Wasp. That's possibly actually my first ever band I remember would be Wasp. Hmm. Well, that's when cool. my dad when my dad was young, you know, he had me in his teens. Yeah. Or he was twenty or, or, or by the time he had me he was twenty. So he drove like a cock. He drove fast. So I was in the back of that car with heavy metal blasting out. He had his <laughs> long hair, the windows were down, he didn't give a shit. And I just remember just getting tossed about in the back of that car <laughs> with the seatbelt. The rear wheel drive, haven't they? He, he lived it. He lived it. And then, uh, good memories, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I suffer, I suffer tinnitus now, but <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. Uh, tinnitus? Do... Yeah, sorry, tinnitus. I had, to, I had to Americanize it. I'm sorry. I suffer from that as well. Uh, it's now literally if, um, whenever we go out shooting, um, mm. one sh- one shot of a 22 LR, and my ears are going, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! Are you not wearing no. hearing protection? No. Oh, you should, man. Even 22s. No. They're one of the worst, I find. Yeah. yeah. They've got a really high crack to it, aren't they? Because they're so overcharged and under pat, like I mean, undersized. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They've got a nice little crack. Um, yeah. Anyway, I was. I don't want to go into weapons with you again because I'll get excited. <laughs> but uh, it's one of the reasons uh, I, I love still listening to music and I still I can't play it nowhere near as good as I can because of my hands. Mm-hmm. But t- the tin- tinnitus, as you call it, also affects from playing. I'm a bass player, I'm by the drummer. Every time it's that snare, my ears hear it and I hear it after. I'm literally walking along, jumping to the beat of the song still for about three hours after. And my ears just get worse and worse. And I'm like, freaking snare drum. And the crash, I've, the crashes do it as well. I've, I've got just the thing for you. I use it every time that we rehearse. And they are, they are sound reduction uh, earbuds. Oh, yeah. They they take out the uh, the harshness, especially, you know, the uh, the crack of the snare, the, uh, the sizzle, the cymbals. But you can hear all the playing. I, I wear can these. You, can you sing as well, though? Oh yeah, with them on. absolutely, absolutely. Because you can still oh, hear your right. monitor. It's just nothing is harsh. Nothing makes your head want to bleed. You know, your ears want to bleed. Which uh, I get what you're saying, man. Trust me, I <laughs> uh, that I'm no stranger to um, to, to uh, ear fatigue when you're when you're behind a kit, but much less if, you know being a bass player. Get if, some of these you, reduction. I might. Yeah, they're... Sorry, I, there was a bit of delay there, buddy. I thought you'd stopped and, sorry, cut out. No, uh, these Carry are on. these are E-T-Y, M-O-T-I-C, and they are they are just the shit. In fact, uh, E-R-Y-Plugs.com. E, E-R, is that E-T? No, that's E-R. No, fuck, that's E-T. Where the hell is... I got contacts in, but these this is much too small. Is it wonder? So what was that, E-R-Y or E-T-Y? Well, look at both. Uh, I'm sure, I think it's E-T-Y. Yeah, it's got to be E-T-Y plugs.com. They're not that expensive, and man, do they make every bit of difference in the world. Uh, you musicians out there, especially you, uh, David, the producer, I know you're a bass player as well. Uh, look into those, man, because uh, you may not want to wear them for gigs, but when, when you're when you're rehearsing, these things are everything because you're usually in a really nice closed space when you're rehearsing, and that that just uh, that just causes you know the head to well, want to explode. Play, we used to play in like British pubs and whatnot, so it was a small. So venue still anyway. small, yeah, yeah. And, and I've done uh, that too. Yep, not British pl- uh, pubs, but but the American version. I remember it was, we used to do two halves, and the, it was fine the first half. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, I can handle this. And then he used to go on the second half and he used to hit that symbol, the snare once. He used to just go, Jesus Christ, because your ears had adjusted going to back down to nothing again. Yep. So going yep. back up. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. Hello, Patty. How are you? Good to see you. Patty, Patty, Patty. Uh, yeah, I was, I was one time, and JD Tremaine's here as well. How are you doing, JD? Uh, I played a place so small that 
I literally had to stay behind my kit during the breaks. They they brought me drinks and food. <laughs> we we once played on a place so small that it was somebody's boat. <laughs> that small. And I swear to God, the boat leaned on its side. We had to put shit on the side of the drum kit so it didn't slide down it was a tidal boat it didn't sit in the water it sat on the sand and then when the tide used to come in it used to raise it up <laughs> so when it sat down and i swear to god this place played in front of about 20 people <laughs> <laughs> this place was literally about the room i had to crouch in it and i'm only six foot tall oh man right it like <laughs> lowered one end yeah uh 15 foot wide by 20 foot long maybe oh that's just uh that's just a master a big master bedroom and like well it is over there over here i ain't gonna know that's a mansion huh? <laughs> and, and they made us crank it up really so there was this all of these old rock songs that they wanted being yeah and it's just days like that. Good memories, but they affect you later on. They really, really do. Because I remember actually after that having scabs coming out of my ears a couple of days later, and I've never had that in my life. Holy shit. Only, scabs. Only on, only on two occasions. When I went to see Tim Ripper Owens a couple of years ago, which uh, he was a singer of Judas Priest, mm -hmm. he played so loud that someone passed out. Holy crap. Um... I've seen that before, though. It yeah. was... Have you ever heard of a band called Manowar? Uh, yes, I have. Right. They're one of my favorite... He's basically one of my favorite singers of all time. Eric Adams is one of the greatest singers of all time. That's just a fact. I don't mean that as a... He's amazing. Anyway, mm -hmm. I've seen them, and they have the status. They ain't the latest, loudest band on earth anymore, but they did hold it like 10 years ago, and they are ridiculous. When I saw Tim Owens, the dude was like just as loud. And that was in a tiny venue. And I could not get over that place, how that place did not fall down. <laughs> uh, I have never felt such intense vibrations. Like you could actually touch the walls and the walls were constantly just shaking. And they were solid brick walls. It was. Wow. They so, bought America here, that's for sure. Yeah, sounds kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> it was, <laughs> to get the wall, that, you get the walls to resonate like that. That was the other occasion, as I said, because I thought there was only one time. That was the other occasions where the day after I had blooming scabs coming out of my ears. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. I, I know, I know how that uh, <clears throat> how that feels. Believe me, believe me. He, he does a song. I won't do like the, but. It's a really high pit where he goes <laughs> in one of the songs, mm -hmm. and it's in the first song he did. They didn't do no tests or nothing. So, like, I'd been backstage, we'd had a chat and everything because, like, we're pals. I don't mean that. We went out the front and they just started, and then they started playing, and everyone was like, literally, even the people accustomed to that music were standing there going, <sighs> and it was literally like, metaphorically your hair, your face being melted off. <laughs> and then when he hit that high, no, that first play note, everyone literally had to go for their ears. Because oh, it was just such power, you couldn't even decipher it. It was going into like the range of dogs. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> range of dogs. Such immense <laughs> power. Well, yeah, only where dogs could hear. Yeah. I've never heard stuff like it in my life. Oh, so <laughs> for 20 seconds. <laughs> People were dying. Some old chick passed out. <laughs> <from> <laughs> It still sounds like fun. I, well, in my younger days, I would have loved that kind of stuff. But, of course, that's why uh, I've got tinnitus now. <laughs> well, yeah, it does give you damage. And uh, oh, yeah. I actually, I could, I could show you a screenshot of a conversation. Two days later, I messaged him, you mother fudger, you've permanently damaged my hearing. And he actually messaged me, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, was it too loud? And he wasn't be he wasn't joking, he was genuinely concerned because oh, he man. had complaints. He'd had complaints at the venue from nearby residents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was in this little tiny seaside town. And when and when they played, when we went off at half time and we went and grabbed some fish and chips, and they, we could hear the venue in the fish and chip restaurant like 200 meters down the road. <laughs> oh, memories. You gotta oh, love them. Oh, you gotta love them. 
You gotta love them. <laughs> but that's all dying now. I mean, that was only a few years ago, and for it to be that recent, mm -hmm. that venue's closed. Mm. That venue's actually gone now. Yeah, that that does happen. In fact, uh, I've, I've seen a uh, kind of a drying up over here of sorts. Um, but you know, there's there's always going to be places where people want to hear music, and uh... I've seen some amazing places in America that I would love to go to. You oh. have one of the big best ones. I'll give an example uh, because most people know it in America who know rock Rainbow's Bar and Grill mm -hmm. in uh, LA. You go into a grill, you eat your dinner, and watch a band. That is freaking awesome. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's there's actually a lot of those around. <clears throat> that would be considered rude over here. Really? If I was if I was playing a band and there was someone eating a steak in front of me, I'd stop my shit and go, "Are you fucking joking? Watch me all get out." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you're not gonna get many encores with that, man. <laughs> <laughs> the other one I don't like is when they get phones. They used to get phones out and put them up in my face. Oh, I never Luckily, had to worry about that. Yeah, I never had to deal with that. It was the early days for me as well. Mm -hmm. As I said, I was in my late teens. The phones weren't a big thing, but that used to piss me off, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to love it when people get up and take pictures, though. That was awesome. Because I knew they were going to share it. Like people are sharing this stream. <laughs> Segway. It's because you know when they're taking a photo with a camera, they're not standing there filming you for 50 seconds. Yeah, it's yeah. A bit, it's a lot more invasive. It is. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, gamer. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to uh, our next guest if you don't mind. I appreciate you sharing, right. man. That that I do. I do mind. Your, <laughs> the the album that was uh, that that was that was heartfelt, and I, I I I get it, man. I get it. That's cool. <clears throat> Thank you. Sure. Okay. Who's who's on next? Um, uh, Chris is. Us. Woo! Outdoorsy Gal O. You know she, her go. and her and Johnny, they're they're both big music folks. Well, outdoors, I can never say it. <sighs> Sorry, uh, it's the O. It just really messes me up. Me too. Uh, all the best. There you go. <laughs> right. Take care of yourself. All right. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>